We are just not winning today. Look at this. I was just to get ready to get going and the tab on the dang header safety is broken and fell down. Like, Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday. I actually missed harvest all day yesterday because I got a chance to kick off and go up to Des Moines to a wedding and I took that opportunity. Andrew did shoot a few clips here and I'll throw them in here in a second. Uh, but now I'm actually headed into work. It's 12.30 now. Got back from Des Moines here this morning and I was just gonna unload some trucks that my dad had started to fill up. And he just called me and said that the center draper belt on the header is not spinning, so we've got a good start. But on the drive, let's get you caught up with what Andrew did yesterday. Well, it's harvest day 11, and I just got this truck unloaded. We got the high V truck over there just in case we needed a special delivery. We're, uh, we're cutting beans. Okay, so I'm sitting here in a truck while we're unloading beans and I just watched yesterday's video and in all honesty I do know how to play rock paper scissors but not with the northern Iowa rules shoot you never heard of shooting rock paper scissors back to the bin man bin's gone for one day and my truck start to look like Ben's gone for one day, and my truck starts to look like his. Whoa. Try this again. Ben's gone for one day, and my truck starts to look like his. I mean, look at this mess. They got clothes laying all over. I got Casey's cup, Casey's pizza box, Casey's sandwich bag, other junk laying on the floor. I need a half-empty pop bottle, and this would be the exact model of truck Ben has. Well, we're getting near the end of the day. Beans are going to start getting tough and the sun's going down right now. You can see that out there. It's uh, kind of. But uh, I don't know if I'll unload another truck tonight or leave it till the morning. But Anyway, you won't see me tomorrow. I, tomorrow's Sunday and I don't work on Sundays so you won't see me, but uh, I'll be in church tomorrow, so you're all welcome to come. But uh, anyhow, Ben should be back tomorrow, and maybe you'll catch up with him. And by the way, if you think these lights are cool, leave us a like, because I think they're pretty neat myself. Well, now after that insight is over, uh, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section if you guys go on a rock, paper, scissors, and then you do it, or if you guys go on shoot. But anyways, I don't know if I should call that Andrew Cam or what I should call that, but we are actually gonna head up here and see what we can get done to fix this header. Well, there you go, Dad. That looks like an interesting place to take a Sunday afternoon nap. Looks like a simple fix. Just some of the beans wrapped around on, they're in a pinch point apparently. We got them fixed up. All we had to do, which note to anybody that has a McDonald head, there's two levers that you can just drop the belly pan. You don't have to take the bolts off of it. Figured that one out. <clears throat> Probably the problem when you don't read the manual before you do something. And then all we did, drop that out, pulled a little bit of the beans out, hit the reverser, kicked the little clod out that was not letting the belt spin, and he's good to go. He's going to go. So. I'm headed back to dump a truck. That's what you guys are gonna see next. And then we're gonna be probably running the car for the day. Kind of the way that soybean harvest goes, it's a lot more relaxed than corn harvest just because you aren't moving as much material throughout the day as you are during corn harvest. That's better. And since we're only running one combine in head, we can typically keep the soybeans away from the combine so the combine never gets stopped. Which is the opposite during corn harvest. Because during corn harvest, you're usually in a pretty good move to try and get back to the fields so the combine does not stop.
one of my augers is spinning. I think that means my chain's broke. Got some one auger in it for a while. We've had more problems with this 13 inch auger. It's like, I don't, I don't understand it. Northern way of rock, paper, scissors. He says that because I went to college in Iowa City, or the University of Iowa. And that's also why I like the ANF and it's in the Iowan Farmer. It stands for American Needs Farmers. Where are you? Nobody needs us to sit here. Shiitake or whatever the heck that thing is. Not our dog, it's the neighbors. He comes over to visit every now and then and bark. <laughs> Throw nuts. Well, that's pretty much that. That's how that goes. Now I'm going to go back to the field, drive the grain cart, get the other beans off. Unless Dad takes over that job and I get in the combine. We'll find out. Down the road. Grind it till you find it. Unless the game plan has changed, which he hasn't called, and if you ever wonder why I wear these, it's so I can hear my phone. Also, I'll listen to podcasts, and I'll also use them as earplugs, too. But it sounds like we're going to the furthest back part of this farm and work back there to get a couple of loads out back there. Um, since we're just the two of us today. You ever like had somebody else like drive your truck or something like that and the next thing you know is you get in and it feels like the seat isn't right? I don't know if Andrew's the same way as my dad, but my dad likes to ride with the seats all the way aired up. I don't like hitting my head on the roof. I don't know if Andrew's the same way, but it's just like that. When somebody drives your truck and your seat isn't right, it feels like that. That's what you get missing a day of work. Change of plans. He's going to keep picking. I'm going to go see if I can figure out what's wrong with that auger. Um, shouldn't be too hard to do. Here's how this thing works. The power takeoff goes into the bottom box. The bottom box splits, comes up with the shaft to another gearbox, which comes down this auger right here. There's the universal joint where it bends and moves. That shaft comes across all the way to this box right here where there's probably some gears and then it should have chains in here. Let's tear into it. Spot on, broke a chain. Yeah, it broke a half link, like I thought. So, it's not that big of a chain, it's a pretty common sized chain, but do we have any like half links or anything like that in the yellow box? Okay, so I gotta find the yellow box with the black top. I don't see it, so it's probably in your garage. Alright, bye. Uh, parts run. Look at that, somebody was playing in the mud. Just about got the auger done. I'll be over after I get it pit put back together. <laughs> On to the next repair job. Sounds like Dad broke a sickle. Sickle section. Sickle section, not sickle. He Fixed him again. He's gonna put beans on this truck and then I'm gonna take off with the truck and go unload it. He's saying that the beans are still wet. It's like high humidity. It's like 
And there's a breeze today. It's just crazy how the beans are still staying this wet this year. Repeat the process. Down the road. We aren't doing too good here today. It's like just going up to get the next load of beans, and as soon as I do, it's like I'm out here on the flat. They call it. My dad calls. Got a rock in the feeder house. It's like we are not doing too good today. Do you think we can get it to go up and over? changed I'm in the combine now dad's gonna take a break uh, run the grain cart for me he says we're having a hard time finding some dry beans which uh, it looks like we are so don't know what to do we're just gonna kind of put some pick until probably dark before I start up I want to show you something kind of interesting when I'm saying finding dry beans on the egg leader the yellow and stuff is the parts that we haven't picked yet but the lighter blue and the darker blue is where we've harvested and the lighter blue is a lighter moisture and the darker blue is darker moisture. So you can kind of find yourself some drier spots in the field by using this map. Technology, it's pretty neat. We are just not winning today. Look at this. I was just to get ready to get going and the tab on the dang header safety is broken and fell down. Like, Try, try, try again. Hey, 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 look at that. I found some dry beans. 13.2, 13.3, I was seeing 12.9. I'll take that. Unfortunately, it's dark and there's no breeze, so how long is it gonna last? I don't know. Well, that looks like it's going to be it for this video guys i'm going to start my truck here before uh, i turn everything off that way i'm not standing here in the complete darkness but thank you guys for watching it was a hectic day weather's not looking too good for us here coming up but we'll be back at it tomorrow and we'll see you then time to pick up my fur child that hasn't seen me in about two days <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Hi, buddy.